you're my people. It's your boy Pack, and this is caught up in a crossfire. I'm here with a boy OG Will. He shot some pretty high profile videos for high profile artists. People like Six Seven, Harlem Spartans, Blade Brown, and many, many more. Will, man, just introduce yourself, my bro. Nah, cool. My name's um, my name's Ill Will. I've been filming since since 2012. Yeah, like Pac said, I've been working with some big names. I've even worked with um, I've even worked with people like Davies, Joe Blow from America, a few people, innit? it? Uh, yeah, just film videos and that. Do you know what it is, yeah? I've always been into cameras, yeah, from when I was young, been into photography, always into cameras, innit? Then obviously I went I went uni, yeah, and I studied um I studied photography and fine art, yeah. And then one time I just got a new camera with that videos, I hit someone up, I was like, yeah, I shoot music videos now and just went from there. About eight years. Um, some I call the highlights would be, I think the main highlight I would have been would be going on tour with Dave East. I, I was, so I linked him at his, um, well, through my bedroom ASB, yeah, I linked him in London at a survival tour show in 2019, mm -hmm. and then I flew out to Amsterdam and filmed there as well. Um, some of the challenges, yeah, would be Maintaining your workload and staying on top of everything, making it sure everything runs smooth, mm. chasing up payments, this and that, because some people move kind of tight. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And yeah, just, just trying to stay. I think, personally, one of my biggest challenges is uh, staying organised. Remember we were in a good or bad way? Uh, both. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, Ah, cool. Uh, my most memorable. I'll start with the negative first, yeah? yeah. So one time, yeah, I must have gone to um, I must have gone to a shoot in East London with some of my guys, yeah. yeah. Uh, of course, imagine I was, I was um, cool. We was, in a, we was in one area, yeah. I was setting up the shoot, yeah. It was we was in like some block in it. We were setting up the shoot, yeah. Mm. And then I remember it so clearly, yeah. I, I remember seeing this ped in it, it was circling around a couple of times. I didn't really think much of it, yeah. I mm. thought, oh, maybe it's like some of their people in it, just, just, do you know what I mean, innit? Mm. But next thing you know, yeah, I see, I see, I see the ped pull up again, yeah. Mm. But next thing you know, they're, they're, they're ringing off shots in the air, this, that. We all had to duck to the other side of the estate, yeah. Bro. And then, and then these guys would start shooting back at them, innit? Bro. And then after all that, they still wanted to film after that. I was like, yeah, no, nah, no, nah, I'm calling it a day, innit? <laughs> At first I was thinking, oh maybe oh, maybe it could be fireworks in it, but I see the whole block run to the other side, yeah? Yeah. Then obviously I felt bad because I, I obviously I bring my I bring my, my bedroom shoots in that yeah, yeah to get them to help this and that, yeah. But I think he's moving goofy and just standing there in it. I was like, no no no, run, 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 in it. <laughs> I, I don't know. In my head I was just thinking, yeah, leg it mate. Like one time I've been I'm not gonna say names, but one time I went to a certain block in South London, yeah? Mm. And people were like borrowing Gucci belts, borrowing chains, this and that. No way. I couldn't believe it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, cool. Do you know what it was, yeah? So before I come to jail, yeah? I was like, I, I was a bit stressed out of videos and stuff like that, yeah? So I was like, I took a step back here yeah, and I started doing some and like normal nine to five work just to clear my mind a bit, yeah? Mm. I, it was nice though, just going to normal office, did it, normal hours, come back, no workload, nothing, yeah? Mm -hmm. But obviously, from where I was like, stressed out in my own world, yeah? I got mixed up in, um, I got mixed up in like, let's say a wrong crowd, yeah? Mm. And then, so basically, I've, I've, I've accepted a package. Mm. So obviously, I got, I had a new flat, yeah? Yeah. I was nice, it was a like top floor, two bedroom, two bathroom. Crazy. I, obviously, I was sharing with my um, bedroom from school days, innit, yeah? Yeah. And then I must have, um, cool. So obviously, in in the process of mixing in the wrong crowd, yeah, mm. I must have um, accepted a package. Yeah, I must have accepted a package, innit? I, I thought it was something else, and it turned out to be what I thought it wasn't. What came was um, basically my charges importation of Class A, yeah. So I, so I had like two bricks of whiff through the um, post, innit? Obviously, on the day, yeah, 
I went for the internet. I went for the internet people to come. Obviously, my boss texted me saying, right, if you're late again, don't bother coming back. This, that. So my head wasn't in the right place, innit, yeah? Cool, so I, obviously the doors rang, innit, yeah? yeah? And I've answered the door, and then there's just like some random, there's a, Fe- there's a FedEx person standing there, innit, yeah? So, obviously, I've, I've, I've accepted the parcel, innit, yeah? yeah? And then gone back in the shower. Mm. Next thing you know, two minutes later, my door got boomed off, yeah? There's nine police in my house, or my flat, innit? There's, um... There's Southall Police, Acton Police, Border Force. Jesus Christ. I was like, oh my God, they come, they're, they're like, they blast the door, please, please, please. And then obviously I'm in the shower, and yeah. I'm naked in the shower, having my shower, yeah? Yeah, and they, they opened the door saying, yeah, please, mate. Mm. And then, yeah, just went downhill from there. I don't know what I was thinking. I, deep down, I was thinking, I'm going to jail, but I don't want to believe I was going to jail, innit? Yeah. And then, yeah, the next thing you know, I'm, yeah, taking me um police station. Obviously, when I was in police station, they they didn't um, bail me because it was a flight risk. And obviously, I had a duty solicitor. So I'm in the cell now, yeah, waiting to talk to the lawyer, yeah. Mm. And, um, cool. So before my first interview, I've had a quick five minutes sit down with him, yeah. Mm. I've had a quick run through of whatever, yeah. I was like, yeah, cool, I'm going to say no comment, da 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 da. Obviously, I've explained. I've explained, sorry, um, I've explained the situation, yeah, and then I've explained the situation to the lawyer and said, right, obviously, gonna go no comment, da 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 da. So, cool. Um, he's, a, he's like, yeah, whatever, we'll just say no comment, and then w- if you want me to talk, whatever, just say in it, yeah? Mm. Cool, so I'm sitting in the interview room, yeah, and then, like, so they're talking to me, yeah, I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm not, can, obviously, I want my lawyer to just um, talk for me, innit? Mm. Do you know what he said? Yeah. We've never had a conversation. <laughs> so I, just, I, I was like, yeah, cool. I'm just going to sit there and say no comment then, innit? No comment, no comment, no comment, no comment, no comment. Cool. So I'm back to my cell. I thought, yeah, I'm going to get bail. It's calm, innit? Do you know what I mean? There's nothing to tie me into it. So I'm in the cell for maybe an hour or so, yeah? They're calling back for a second interview now. I'm like, second interview? I'm like, second interview? What? Why? Yeah. Obviously, they've gone, um, they've gone into my phone, innit, yeah? Mm. And on my phone, yeah? You see, you see, you might get a late message late night. You've been drinking this and that, yeah, and you but and then you forget about the next day, innit, yeah. Mm. So cool. On my phone, yeah. There's uh, certain messages tying me into it, yeah. Mm. But obviously, in the messages, I'm just brushing off, mm. like literally just brushing off. Ah, oh, yeah, I might know some. Ah, oh, I'll let you know. Da 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 da. Do you know what I mean just brushing off, yeah. But obviously, the police are saying because. Because I never said, ah, oh, don't contact me, I'm gonna call the police, this and that, yeah? Ah, uh, it ties me into it and this and that, innit? Bro. So obviously, I'm there just in the second interview, seeing all these messages, innit? Mm. I was like, yeah, oh, this is not good. So obviously, after that now, yeah? So after that interview, yeah? They've, um, obviously, they've fully charged me, innit, yeah? Mm. And so now I'm the sergeant's desk, innit? Waiting to get, um, find out if I'm getting reminded or bail or whatever, yeah? yeah. I have a look around here, yeah? my solicitor's is nowhere to be seen. He's he's in the car waiting for his next clients in there. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I was like, no, I'm going to jail. Cool, so they've um they reminded me in it, yeah? So I, no bail flight race reminded me. And then I was in the police station for Friday, Saturday. I caught I got there Friday morning and I left Monday morning. Straight to um magistrates. I couldn't believe it. I actually couldn't believe it. I was like, right, I like must be like a dream. My head was him. my head was spinning. That's probably the only <laughs> yeah. My head was, uh, my head was spinning. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I couldn't believe it. I went when I went magistrates. Yeah, I said not guilty. Obviously, I know what I've done in it. Yeah, mm. I ain't gonna, I'm not saying guilty to importation of class A because I don't. I'm not importing class A in it. Like, mm. so I'm saying not guilty in it. Obviously, there's got to be something else in it. Mm. So when I was in when I was in. Um, when I was in magistrates here, yeah, I was thinking, oh, yeah, maybe they'll bail me, innit? Mm-hmm. No, they denied me bail twice to magistrates here. Yeah? One was for a flight risk, and then the second one, they said I had, um, they said, ah, oh, I got loads of gang ties in South London, I'm gonna distribute all the cocaine to all the gangs in South London. <laughs> they thought they thought my cameraman thing was a front licking bare shots and went, I'm filming and this and that. And they thought I was a man behind everything. But back to your question, yeah, about trial. Um, I said in the end, I said, after not guilty, I, at Crown I said guilty in it, yeah, mm. because after about three months, yeah, so I was on, I was in Scrubs for three months, yeah, and then after that it was time to um, 
started getting the process done, yeah? Mm-hmm. Cool. When I, when I was um, chatting to my, my lawyer, yeah? He was basically telling me, yeah, yeah, go guilty. Because if you say not guilty, the figures will be astronomical. After that, I was like, Pfft. yeah. When they're telling me astronomical, 15s, 16s, oh, yeah, I'm going guilty. I'm going guilty. No, 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 no. I can, get, I can get a percentage off if I go guilty, certain mitigation, this and that. It'd be sweet. But obviously, so when it came down to it, yeah, so I was gone guilty, yeah. It's come down. So when I said guilty at Crown, they sentenced me on the same day. Same day? Same day sentencing. What, no, what, no, no. Pre-sentence report. Yeah. No, they said I don't need one. What? <laughs> <laughs> um, they gave me 10 years, no, down to seven and a half. Jesus Christ, the Nazareth. 10, yeah. 10 fucking years. <laughs> Bro. Yeah, when he it, when it said that, 10 years, yeah. But what they done, yeah, they done weird stuff. Like, they, they, they started me at category one, not category two. Just certain things like that, innit? Mm. So if they don't start me in category two, it would have been eight years. With the mitigation I had, it would have gone down to like a six or so. And then obviously guilty, this and that. It would have been a walk in the park, do you what? know what I mean? When they said, ah, oh, when they told me, yeah. When they gave me my sentence, yeah. I was just deep in life, I was like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, boy. Oh, I call it. In terms of resolving things, after a, after a few months, I think everyone realised, right, I'm actually in jail. This and that, and then everyone's quite forgiving, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Um, in terms of people that want to work with me, I, I can't. I got no way of contacting them. Do you know what I mean? So obviously, my like you said, everything just went offline. I'm still offline. Like, mm. do you know what I mean? I've, I'm still in, I'm I'm still in decat now. Like, I'm offline, isn't it? So I can't I can't filter through messages and this and that. Do you know what I mean? Cool, I ain't got no equipment right now and yeah no I'm completely offline with everything. No no editing, no camera, nothing. But I'm obviously where I've just come on DCAT, this and that, yeah. Give it, I'm gonna give it a few months and then I'm gonna start getting back into editing the editing yeah, side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um no, obviously right now I'm just still readjusting and No matter how um, sidetracked your life is going, there's always a correct path, and don't don't um, lead away from it. Always stick to what you know. Always listen to what your parents say, and don't accept strange packages from strangers.